Hey guys, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, please make sure to subscribe down below so you can see when I post new videos. I do post twice a week. Today I'm going to be doing a day in my life vlog. I'll probably do it over today and tomorrow most likely. So one day of classes and then one day of not classes because I don't have class on Friday. So today's Thursday. So yeah, I'm just going to take you along on a day with me for my accelerated nursing program. I am still online for the entire rest of this semester, which is the summer semester. So all of my classes today are online. And then my classes likely in the fall will be online except for clinical as well. So yeah, let's just jump into today. So it's actually 8.30 and if you've seen any of my other vlogs that I've done for this semester, you'll know that I have class at 9 usually, but today our 9 o'clock lecture is pre-recorded for us, so I don't actually have to start at 9, so I have a little bit of wiggle room this morning before I actually have to start. You'll see I made my coffee already. Um, I have it in one of those new Starbucks color changing cups, so it um, changes color when it gets cold. So that is kind of fun for the morning. And then I'm just gonna make myself breakfast and kind of get myself together to start this pre-recorded lecture. If you guys are curious about what exactly I do in the morning to kind of get myself ready for the day. I did film a morning routine for one of my days of classes. So I will link that in one of the cards up above and in the description box down below. So for breakfast this morning, I am having some grapes as well as this everything bagel. This is actually a bagel that I made myself I took the time to make my own homemade bagels the other day, or I guess yesterday, um, when I had some extra time. I got the recipe from my friend Hope. If you guys are new, Hope is my best friend from nursing school. She has her own food Instagram and food blog that I will link down below for you guys. She adjusted someone else's recipe to send me this one to make it a small batch recipe, but I will ask her for the full recipe and I will link that down below for you guys as well. Speaking of Hope, she is coming back to Philly in a little over a week at this point. So I definitely wanna film something with her since she is such a good cook. So leave me a comment down below with what we should make together, either one of her original recipes that she comes up with, or if there's like a specific recipe on Tasty or Bon Appetit or something that you guys are really interested in, let me know and her and I will make it when she comes back. Luckily, my pre-recorded lecture did not take the full hour and a half that it was supposed to. It only took about an hour. So I do have a little bit of a gap before the live lecture starts. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a little bit of meal planning. If you watched one of my recent vlogs, I think it was the one where I was prepping for the beginning of this semester a few weeks ago, I kind of showed you how I meal prep and how I kind of decide what to buy at the grocery store. But tomorrow I'm going to the grocery store. So I wanted to kind of plan out what meals I wanna make so I can obviously get the appropriate ingredients. So I just wanted to show you what I came up with for this week. So I just usually write down what I have already frozen and like made for myself. 
and then what I want to make. So I actually still have two, yeah, two home chef meals left, which you'll see me talk about in a later video. I'm gonna make one of them tonight, but I'll still have one for next week. So that's like two meals worth there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some chicken, shred it and put some buffalo sauce on it. And then I can use it for salads or I can use it as its own individual meal. And then I'm gonna try this loaded cauliflower mac and cheese kind of thing that one of my friends tried this past week and said it was really good. So I'm gonna try that. And then from the Skinny Taste website, which I just showed, I'm gonna try this white chili, which I'm gonna use ground turkey for. And then I'm gonna try this sweet potato chicken hash thing. It's like eggs sweet potatoes and chicken and it sounds really good and something a little bit different than what I usually make. And between all of these meals, plus what I have in the freezer, plus probably getting takeout once or twice for a meal and my one home fresh that I'll have for next week, this will be plenty of food for two weeks, which then saves me an extra trip to the grocery store during the pandemic. And then how I make my grocery list. So I just do it like through my notes app. Hi, you can see my reflection in my computer. I list everything on my grocery list by where it is in the store. This way I'm not like touching my phone super often in the grocery store. And it just keeps me more organized. So I'm not running back and forth across the store if I forget something in one of the sections. Plus the grocery store I've been going to has one way aisles. So if I forget something down one aisle, I have to like go around in a giant circle to get back to it. So organizing it by where it is in the store has been really helpful for me. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock now. I'm on my break from my class. We don't resume until one o'clock with our live lectures. So I have my watch later playlist all set up and ready to go. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and then eat some lunch. Okay, so it is three o'clock now. I have finished with all of my lectures for, day, for today. Um, I have my blue light glasses on that are like 50 sizes, too big for my face. But when I spend this long staring at a computer, I really need them. These ones are from Amazon. I can link them down below for you guys. But now I have a little bit of work I have to do for my work study job. If you're new or you don't know, I do have a work study job through school. Um, I did have it through the school year and luckily have been allowed to continue remotely throughout the summer as well. So my boss just kind of, says, she emails me things throughout the week to work on and then I just send them back to her when they're done basically. And then I just submit my hours at the end of the week. Um, so yeah, it works out really well for me because I can still have a little bit of extra income during the summer and yeah. So I'm gonna do this and then this will probably take me like an hour or two and then we'll see what else I choose to do today. Okay, so it's a few hours later. It's about 5.30 right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have quite the migraine, but I do need to eat dinner. I'm sure that will help me. I get migraines fairly often so i'm drinking a liquid iv in hopes to give myself some extra hydration and i have all the lights off in my apartment which is why the lighting might be weird because it's really cloudy and rainy outside but i am going to be making one of my home chef meals tonight for dinner i don't think i mentioned this earlier in the vlog i i don't remember but i am doing a whole video on me testing out a bunch of popular sponsored products um the liquid iv is one of them and then the home chef box is another one so you will see me cook dinner in that video i'm gonna film a couple clips of it to show for that video to show me testing it out and everything and i will check in with you guys later okay so i finished making dinner you will see all of that in the video that i mentioned that'll be probably going up if this is gonna go up Monday, the trying sponsored products video will probably go up Thursday, assuming that I have a chance to edit it and everything. My schedule is a little bit busier 
with school next week because it's the last week of classes for the summer semester. So it's coming up after this one, at least. Unfortunately, I did spill some like steak juice on my shirt. So I have to go change my shirt, but yeah. I am feeling a little bit better from my migraine now that I was able to drink almost my entire liquid IV and just kind of sit for a little bit. So now that I, my headache is more just like a mild headache, I might try and watch a movie or something. I don't know if it's gonna make me more miserable, but we will see. <laughs> All right, so it is nine o'clock now. I did end up watching a movie. I watched the um, newer version of Footloose that's on Hulu now. Um, and then now I'm watching an episode of One Tree Hill so I can make sure I get caught up to the correct episode for when I watch with my friends on Tuesday. And then honestly, I'm just gonna go to bed, uh, maybe read a little bit. Right now I'm reading The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, so like the sequel of Handmaid's Tale. And then we'll pick up the vlog again tomorrow. Good morning guys, today is Friday. In case you wanted a migraine update, I do still have like a lingering headache, but I did take Excedrin this morning when I woke up. So hopefully that'll just knock the rest of it out. If you get migraines too, let me know your best like tips and tricks because I have a few things that usually work for me, but I'm always looking <laughs> for other things that can help me instead of just popping a bunch of painkillers, basically. So what's on the agenda for today? So I already got a little bit ready. I just did a little bit of eye makeup and then I put on this like tinted chapstick, but it's a little more pink than I thought it would be. So I'll probably change that at some point but i'm not doing anything fancy today i'm going to the grocery store which is why i didn't do any face makeup because i'm gonna be wearing my uh mask but yeah so i'm going to the grocery store so i'll show you guys a little bit of a grocery haul and maybe some meal prepping i don't know how much actual meal prepping i'm gonna do today since i still have another home chef meal but i'll probably like wash all my produce put that away cut up some lettuce and stuff so we'll see. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna film a video today. I really wanna do an Amazon favorites video because I love watching Amazon favorites. So I wanna kind of get everything together to film that today maybe, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do that. We'll see. So yeah, let's just jump into today. I figured I would show you guys my outfit for today, not like it's anything super exciting at all, but I guess if I do film another video later today, you'll be able to see it better, but this is one of my, if not my favorite shirt I bought while I worked at Disney. Um, it just has a bunch of the different rides all over the front of it and it's so fun and then on the back it has a bunch of the rides with the date they open. I don't know if you guys can see, it's hard to film my back, but I really like this shirt. Amy Beth and I bought matching ones, so she has this too. And then these are my favorite shorts ever from American Eagle. They have this little like lace pocket underlay. Um, if you look on my Instagram, I basically wore these like every day last summer. So I'm excited to be wearing these because they're super comfy so I can wear them the entire day. And then I'll probably just throw on some sneakers when I go to the grocery store. Um, also, this bracelet is something that I got when I was in Peru. So unfortunately, I can't link it below for you. And I doubt I can link this shirt too because it's already a year old. But if I do, if I can find it on Disney's website, I will link it for you guys. Just wanted to pop in for a quick clip. I like to edit as I go. So I imported the clips you just saw actually, and I'm just going through editing them. And sorry, there's a glare. I'm just making a note on my computer with all of the things I said that I would link for you guys. So always make sure you check the description box of my videos if there's something you want to link for because I always make sure to link anything that I think 
you guys would want to know where it's from or I explicitly say, oh, I'm going to link this down below. And then of course, my Instagram is always in the description box and I'm going to add my Etsy store as well because I finally feel like it's at a place where I can share it with you guys. So I have a few, I got a few orders this past week that I worked on. So um, yeah, I will link my Etsy shop down below for you guys as well, but I just wanted to update you guys with what I'm working on this morning. Okay, I am back from the grocery store now. It's been a few hours. It is 1.30 already because we hit a lot of traffic coming back because the road was closed, but I'm gonna quickly go through all of the produce and refrigerated stuff so I can get it into the fridge and then I'll show you everything else. So I have one small onion for my chili, two sweet potatoes for my sweet potato hash, a head or crown of cauliflower for the cauliflower mac, some romaine lettuce to make salads, strawberries, a Ben and Jerry's ice cream, uh, raspberries, blueberries, some cottage cheese doubles, shredded cheddar, sliced cheddar, chicken breasts, ground turkey, and then some turkey bacon back there. Also, I did get another dozen large eggs. Now for pantry items and non-refrigerated stuff, I got sliced pepper rings because I couldn't find green chilies specifically. So I just got spicy peppers, um, more brown rice cups. You've seen me talk about those before though. Um, chicken stock, rye bread, I got some garlic powder, crushed red pepper, and then just some like salt to use for baking and stuff. I got more chocolate chips because I wanna make chocolate chip cookies. I might even make those today, depending on how I'm feeling. And then I got the jumbo box of strawberry Pop-Tarts just for something quick for breakfast. I got these um, soft baked chocolate chip cookies because they're like gluten-free and everything. I think they're gluten-free. Um, but anyway, they're like healthier. So I thought I would try those. I got a tuna helper with the creamy broccoli. I got a box of brownie mix so I can try some of the Bon Appetit hacks for boxed brownie mix. And then I got just plain lemonade. And then I went to Target and I got a case of Blackberry Spindrift. And then I just got um, two lighters for my candles because mine ran out of fluid. So that is everything that I got from the grocery store. I'm gonna do a teensy little bit of meal prep now with some of the produce that I just put away. So yeah, let's just jump into that. So like I said, very minimal meal prep this week since a lot of what I'm gonna be eating is gonna be later in the week or after the weekend, I guess, since today's Friday. But I bought these Rubbermaid, fresh saver containers. I don't know exactly what they're called. I will link them down below. They're supposed to keep your produce more fresh than if you leave them in their regular containers. And so since I live alone, I simply cannot go through produce as quickly as it takes for it to not go bad. So I'm gonna try putting my fruit in here this week and see if it really does make a difference. Usually the strawberries I buy only last me like three or four days before they get moldy. So I'm hoping that this will maybe get me to like four or five, maybe six days. I'm not expecting like drastic results here, but I'm hopeful that this will extend the life at least a little bit so I can eat them for a little bit longer. And I'm gonna do the same with my blueberries and my raspberries as well. I'll probably put my raspberries in this little one and then do the strawberries and the blueberries in this bigger one just because it won't all fit in this little one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash all of my fruit first and then I'm gonna put them into these containers. And yeah, I'll show you when it's done basically. So I actually ended up putting all of the fruit in this one since it did all fit. And when I was reading on Amazon, it said to wash them all and then put them in here. So I just rinse them all. I don't do anything super fancy to wash my fruit like the, uh, salt water or anything. This has served me well <laughs> uh, my entire life so far. So that is my plan to continue. Um, so yeah, the lid has a nice little vent in here. This little green thing at the bottom keeps the water 
off of the fruit and helps it drain. And then apparently it keeps it fresh longer. If I won't be able to report back in this vlog because I'm ending it here later today, but if I like them, you'll see them in my Amazon favorites video that I've now decided I will be filming next week since it's already two o'clock and my migraine is basically back and I just wanna lie down. <laughs> so stay tuned to see if I actually end up meal prepping the rest of the produce. But something that I definitely will do today is I bought, like you saw, a bigger pack of chicken breasts. So I am going to open that up and then individually bag the chicken breasts. I know using plastic bags is wasteful, but I don't know of an easier alternative to this. And then I'm gonna put them straight into the freezer because I'm probably not going to use them by their date. And then this way they'll already be frozen. I can pull them out and defrost them as I need. Hey guys, so I just realized I haven't checked in since I got back from the grocery store a few hours ago. It is 5.30 right now. I did change my shirt because I ended up having an interview for a potential babysitting job for part of the summer for someone that lives close by to here um, in Philly. So I just put on a more like adult <laughs> shirt for the little Zoom interview that I did. So maybe I will find out by the end of this vlog if I got the job or not. I don't know. She said she would contact me soon. So we'll see, I'm about to get some dinner. I think I'm just gonna heat up some of my leftovers from last night and just watch some YouTube. I finished all of my work for my work study job um, a little bit ago. So I've just been kind of relaxing, watching some TV, trying not to overstimulate myself to keep the migraine away. I decided that since I had some of my leftovers for lunch, I don't want them for dinner again too. So I'm just gonna heat up this bird's eye pasta and vegetables thing in the microwave because I don't wanna make my whole other home chef video or like make a full meal since I do still have so many leftovers in my fridge. So this will be perfect just for dinner tonight and we'll kind of start fresh tomorrow so i did decide that i'm gonna do chocolate chip cookies i think i talked about that earlier i don't even remember but i am making them so they're like thinner you'll ha i'll just show you at the end i'm not following the exact recipe on here i'm using all white granulated sugar instead of half white sugar and half brown sugar. I just always follow the recipe on the back of the chocolate chips, to be honest with you, because I just think that is easiest. So I will show you guys when I'm done. All right. Expectation versus reality. They honestly, I used all granulated sugar and not brown sugar and granulated sugar, but they just look like normal chocolate chip cookies. They taste like the cookies where, you know, like these cookies. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But they look wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm i clearly not a baker. I don't know why I try to be. This is just proof right here that I'm just a hot mess. Anyway, I'm going to take that as my cue to end this two-day vlog kind of day in my life video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more and i will see you in my next one bye